te reka noho te taurau o te whare wano Re rā nā te afi i te rā Pato ana tāna, mai te wao tāna Ka peke, paku ana te waka o te hunga wano tāna Ko whare tera i te kai o te waka o tūia Nā rā te rai i tū tūia Ranginui, Sky Father above and Papa Tuanuku, Earth Mother below, are shown here with their children huddled in between them, framed by oceans of water, sea and air. Tangaroa Whakanui. This pare is named Tangaroa Whakanui, meaning the vast and expansive ocean, representing also Te Mona Nui Akiwa, the Great Southern Oceans. Tāwhiri mātea, the winds that sweep through the air, breathing life into all of creation. Also referred to as Naho Wefa, the four winds, including the four ocean currents, which propel the voyaging waka. This is a tribute to the many Polynesian seafarers who were men of great courage and strength, crewing these ocean-going waka. They were the crew and were vitally important to our ancestors arriving at their destinations. The steersman was responsible for guiding our waka and its people to its destination. They were often the unseen, unsung heroes, and hence the term Huna Kanohi, the hidden face. Kōwhai Fai, rafter ornamentations. And these raft ornamentations are depicted by the silver pieces representing the bulbs or kōru to symbolise the fertility of plants that voyaging Māori spread throughout the Pacific Islands. The kōru design suggests not only the fertility of plants, but also of mankind. Humete. Inspired from the shape of a bird, this voyaging waka is a replica of those that transported our ancestors across the Pacific Ocean. The bird, or manu, represents a spiritual messenger depicted in the quivering wing-like motions of the hands in Māori action songs, kumete. Tiheru the name given to this baler. It represents a, a whale, or a tohora, the great fish of the ocean of Kiwa. The pattern is used on sea creatures and is the chiefly pattern of the sea, also associated metaphysically to people of vast knowledge. Hei matau tahi. This is Maui's fish hook. Uh, which represents the fish hook with which Maui fished in many islands in the South Pacific Ocean. Maui represents each one of us. Whatever we desire is our fish, and the knowledge and wisdom and passion is represented here in the fish hook. Hei matau. This one shows maturity, age, and wisdom.
Tohunga Kaifa Kairo, Man of Knowledge. A man of knowledge, a Tohunga Kaifa Kairo, is skilled in the arts of carving, storytelling, music, and entertainment. According to tradition, these men were exceptional artists. Tohunga Fakaido were specialists in the art of carving and were the keepers of knowledge, wisdom associated with the Whare Tupuna, the sacred ancestral meeting houses. Tamariki, children. The children were born adventurers who travelled into their new homelands and because of Maui, who disciplined the sun, have no concerns about time. Tamariki depicts the child nature in all of us, who needs to be free of all restraints, including time. Raumati, summer, Mahuru, autumn, Hotoke, winter, and Kuanga, spring, represent the seasons captured here in Namatafa, the Four Faces. This carving represents a primary element in Māori art, the human form. This is Hine Ahuone, the first human being, highlighting the female quality of wisdom, shown here in the form of a gold inlaid moko of the lower jaw, Te Kauairaru. This silk print map represents Tasman's arrival to New Zealand at Murderer's Bay in 1642 and captures the first European impressions of Māori people and the mapping of the west coast of New Zealand. Tasman was the first known European to map substantial portions of Australia, New Zealand and the Pacific Islands. This piece shows his compass representing the science of navigation the East India Company logo and his signature. A large carved coin with the Chinese symbol for gold is captured here in honour of the first Chinese settlers to Aotearoa, New Zealand. Nore no mai, hara mai, piki mai, kake mai.